Hey everyone, I am Jeremy and this is Disciple Makers. This is a place where we are courageously striving to multiply followers of Jesus Christ. I'm sure many times in your life you have been asked the question, how are you doing? But I'm also guessing if you were like me, most of the time you are asked that question, it just stays on the surface. Or you quickly just say, good, and then you deflect the question back to them. Or you answer the question by stating your latest thing that you've been up to, your latest experience, event, where you've been this week, what you've done. But how many times when we're asked the question, how are you doing, do we really answer the question? Do we really answer with vulnerability and courage. I would argue that one of the main benefits to discipleship is it's a relationship between you and somebody else that you're both pursuing Jesus together. And it is a place to answer the question, how are you doing, really? It's an opportunity to be vulnerable days that you're not doing well to say, hey, I'm not doing well and here's why. And that's such a key part of vulnerability as well is to answer the question, why? Yeah, I'm not feeling great, but here's why. Or I don't know why this is happening, but here's my experience. And maybe the other person can help ask some questions to draw that out. There's so much power in vulnerability. There's so much transformation in vulnerability. In fact, I, I would argue in the middle of our vulnerability is the place where we are going to grow the most. It is the ground with which we transform in our faith and trust in Jesus. So why do we insist on not being vulnerable? Why do we insist on not developing the courage to be vulnerable? Maybe it's flanked us in the past. Maybe we're just terrified for someone else to know. Maybe we have all these other excuses and reason. Maybe we have past shame of a time that we've opened up and it went the wrong way. So now we carry that with us and we're afraid to do that again. But the reality is, discipleship is meant to be in relationship where there is vulnerability. One of the amazing things about Jesus and his disciples is um, he called them to have courage. He called them to take action. And one of the disciples in particular, Peter, over and over and over again, he just put himself out there in such vulnerable ways, in ways that I look at and go, wow, Peter, I can't believe you did that. And one of the examples is it says in Matthew 14, 25, Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. Yeah, you read that right. Heard that right. Jesus was walking on the water, which, by the way, is not possible for us who are merely humans. It says, When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. So often, we don't take steps of vulnerability. We don't muster up the courage because we're afraid. We're afraid of this. We're afraid of that. We're afraid of past mistakes. We're afraid of shame. We're afraid of all these things, and it keeps us from taking courage. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come on, tell me to come to you on the water. How many of us would have been like Peter in this situation? I would have loved to have been in the boat. I would have loved to have watched Peter take courage. I would love to have experienced that. I don't think I love in most situations to actually be Peter to take that huge step of vulnerability, to take that huge courageous step to walk out 
on that water in the midst of the storm to Jesus. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You have little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Peter, though the story doesn't shine so brightly on him. I mean, he got out on the water, the waves were crashing. He lost sight of Jesus and he starts to sink and he panics. And Jesus saves him. Jesus questions why he doubted. But the thing about Peter that I admire so much is he was vulnerable. He had the courage to get out of the boat, to step into the storm. For us, do we have that courage? Do we have that courage to have vulnerability, to acknowledge that we don't have it all together, that we have all these layers of insecurities and we want to hand those over to God? That we're afraid that we have fear of all of these things. And we want to stop doubting and hand those over to God. For us, vulnerability is the framework for transformation. And so in discipleship, first, are you in a discipleship relationship with someone that you can trust to answer the question, how are you doing really? What is really going on? And if so, do you have the courage and vulnerability to open up, to acknowledge those fears, that past shame, acknowledge the weakness? Do you have the courage to step out in faith, to acknowledge that here's how I'm really doing? I need you to pray for me and I need God's help with this. That's what discipleship is meant to be at its core. And so I encourage you, disciple makers, keep stepping out in faith. Keep practicing vulnerability. Keep having the courage to show up and to answer the tough questions like, how are you doing? Really? Disciple makers, let's go.